Hi guys, it's Debbie and I'm going to do a acrylic painting hopefully um, today. I'm after cells. We'll see if we get them. I did, um, I did run on uh, do another uh, painting with some new stuff I bought. This um, got this at Lowe's. They probably sell it at other places, but um, I liked it. <laughs> so I really liked it. I think I like it better than whoops my three and one was tipped over here but um i uh, i think i like it better even though you can't see what it is it's three and one i honestly think i liked it better than that but you know i'm not real sure i just happen to like that you know you can hit and miss on these paintings so i enjoyed the last one so here we go i'm gonna um okay i'm gonna i have sorry about that um <laughs> I kind of forgot the camera was aiming over here, but over there. But um, anyways, I have some my acrylic, different kinds of acrylic paints. I like using different kinds of paints. So I feel for me, it works out the best. So I have uh, Liquitex. I have got um, Createx. And I've got some latex paint. That's what I'm using for this time around. So, um, anything else? I think that's about it. And I'm going to do a 10 by 10 canvas. So I'm going to do a nice big square one. Well, it's kind of big. So I'm going to bring you down now. Okay. Um, this is a pour cup. I used that a few minutes ago. I'm going to use it again. And I'm doing red yellow and teal purple and green i don't know if i set them over this way a little bit more maybe whoops sorry <laughs> okay we'll do that in a few minutes when i move them off to the side um all right i'm gonna start with red i'm always stirring it because um they, if they sit very long, the silicone wants to come to the top. And so, in fact, on some of the paints, when they'll sit quite a while, I will see it. You'll see it on the top. So if you see little bubbles or something that looks like an oil slick, no, they don't really look like an oil slick, but it looks like, like something is on, on the top of your paints. It's probably the silicone that come up to the top. So... Um, Um, this green was mixed a few days ago, so occasionally you'll see a few little chunks coming down. <laughs> it doesn't seem to mess up too much, but um, anyways, I kind of, whoops, like the cup, the way it looks. I always enjoy seeing what's going on. It always reminds me of butterfly wings. <laughs> so. Did I put teal in? I think I did, didn't I? I'm going to guess I did. I'm pouring it off to the side. I'm kind of testing a little bit. See if I like it. If it's kind of, you know, poured to the side a little more. Certain colors separate them out. Last time it didn't it didn't make any difference, but I'm still going to do it. So. I'm going to pour the teal this way. When it all came out, it all mixed together anyways. But, you know, it was worth a shot. I thought if I separated them a little bit, 
when you're doing this kind of painting you can come up you know you get all these thoughts in your head while you're doing it so like oh that turned out really good look where that's at and I'm gonna try to repeat that <laughs> I lost my white there it is put my weight way over there okay I'm gonna keep white in the middle last time I didn't see any white so we'll just run a few little lines here and there Gonna move these paints real quick. I try to get them out of my way. My table is full of paint. I do have it covered in some plastic, but um, I just spilt this purple all over right before we started filming. So, anyways, I think I got enough in this cup. sit for just a second because I really don't want any I'd rather have it all come down all right I love the interest the lines make if you can see it I mean not always can you see the lines but I love the interest that it makes when you put it on there. And sometimes when you do see the line and you look at it and it's so cool at the end and you'll know specifically how that line got there. Um, and that flame was pretty high. Oh. I hate the smell, so I usually use, use the heat gun. But, oh, I'm going to turn the fan on. Sometimes I don't get any smell from that. But, um, phew. Today I did. That's kind of why I kind of quit. had quit using it. I'm just going to see if there's a little more I can pull out of here. Before I start moving it all around. Okay. Oh, I love this side right here because there's only a little bit of it. Whenever I see only a little bit of something, I'm like, oh, I love that part. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I hit the bottom. I kind of like to see it come out all over the place, evenly distribute itself. I don't see if it was round. I like this side over here. Okay, so I got enough on the table here. I can scoop some up for those corners. There's not enough left in my cup to pour out on it. Sorry, I moved it over too far. Got a little issue with that tonight. Oops, sorry. Okay, I need something to scoop some of that up. And you guys, I will tell you this. I, every once in a while, I'll have, like I just did, oh, I think it was six, maybe even eight paintings that were ugly. And that happens with this. And I kept going over, I'm like, what's up with my paint, you know? Is it my paints? What is it? You know, they mix them. So I decided to start over and remix most everything. And, um, but I still use several old ones. <laughs> well, that is not going to match that little, that corner right there. So I'm going to have to try to get, I don't want to, I like this side the best. So you know what I think I'll do? I'll just put a little red on there. But I'm going to put a little red in my pour cup. Uh, can you see that right there? Just a little red. I just want to fix that corner right there. 
Oh, you know what? It needs green more than anything. Because that's a green corner. Just a little touch here. Yeah, I really didn't need the red there. Oh, oops. I'm just going to pour a little teal in there. I'm uh, just giving it a touch with the fork on the inside. Let's see if we can get this little corner matching. Not looking so good right now, but. Now, you guys, I don't know what you think of this, but I love it. And you know what I think? I mean, I don't know what it is. If it's the new, if it's the new, this new silicone that I held up a little bit ago. Um, I got, I think I mentioned I got it at Lowe's and um, I'm sure they sell it all over the place. I'm not so happy with that corner. I just tried to fix a little bit though. So I'm just, let's see if I, oh, that side's not too bad. There, it's at least getting a few little, so it looks like it fits in a little bit. So all I really want is to try to get it to fit in. Looks like it's getting a few cells on there, so that makes me happy. Um, see, they're a little bit are popping up. All right, let me hold this up a little bit. Wow, I love all the different colors. When it does that, can you see that? I love when it does stuff like that. Hey guys, I would love to see your work too. Um, uh, you can't, I don't think you can post it on YouTube on my, on my link. Um, but I do have a page. I have an art page on Facebook. I mean, um, or you can send me a link to it. I would love to see what you got going. Really love to see it because I love seeing what other people are doing. And um, hopefully, anyways, if you're having, hopefully you're having some great success. And if you have a bad few paintings like me, I was just thinking, I don't know what it is. I'm using these paints, and I can't. I've used the same stuff over and over again. I mean, I love the WD-40. I love the way it came out in the paints, the way it would work, but. All of a sudden, I don't know, so I went and bought some new paints and started kind of all over again, even though I got some of my old ones sitting next to me, and I'll try to incorporate them in. But it's so frustrating when something doesn't work, and you're trying it over and over and over again to get it get it to work. So, but anyways, guys, I really appreciate so much you guys stopping and, and um, viewing these videos. And uh, happy painting, anyways. <laughs>